Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe a little bit of talking. Mm, talking to you, my Epiphone acoustic electric guitar. Yeah? So, with the colorway, see, I can reach the high notes. And, um, yeah, it's a acoustic guitar, but I can plug it in and it gets amplified. It's got a little volume thing on the top. See yeah. Uh, that's it. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so um, let's see. So let me do some talking. What can I kind of talk about? Music. Favorite music. My favorite music. Big, oh, you know, just my songwriting. Biggest influences on my songwriting. It's not like I get influenced anymore, but I mean, when I first started songwriting, and, you know, you kind of. I mean, I never took classes to write a song, so, you know, I kind of was a musician, this was music I liked, and I kind of, you know, kind of learned from them, and, um, there's a few, not a lot, I mean, Paul and the Beatles, of course, and Sting, Sting, because I like his melodies, he's very good melodies, and I also like his lyrics, he's, um, is this kind of poetic, polite style of writing, but he t- gives a message. It's kind of you know, it's kind of like a more stronger message. He usually always kind of has a, some kind of a message. It's just about one thing, you know, like mentioned about for loneliness and you know, visible sun is about you know, in, in Ireland. Synchronicity, Synchronicity 2 is for something, and then, you know, spirits in the material world or something else, you know, it's always, we work the black seam together, you know, that's another song, it's just, you know, he's right soul, you know, or they, they dance alone, it's another song, you know, it's like, it's all the songs are about something, but he does it in a very poetic kind of way, and I like that. You know, and then also, I think another influence is uh, Roger Waters. I um, I like, you know, he doesn't write flim flammy songs. I mean, he writes songs about something. You know, you know, he's got a way of, you know, you know, talking about things, not just. Out with things, but in with things, you know, things about the human mind and all that, and like that. And of course, Elvis Costello is another big influence, especially with like words and you know, kind of. You know, he's able to write these very kind of catchy hooks with, you know, kind of wordplay. So, you know, like that. And he kind of, he's able to sing about subjects that not normal, you know, bands that normally sing about, you know. It's usually when you write a song, you want to write about something fresh, you know, something that no one's ever written about. Something new. instead of just all, you know, instead of just love songs all the time, you know. So, so you know. But let's see, other bands I like. There's so many bands that I was kind of forget to mention some when I mention bands I like. Cause I like quite a bit of music, but I don't like a lot. I mean, I like, when I like a band, I like them a lot, you know, I mean, you know, I like The Who, you know, I like the kind of style, and the what it was, what, what adultery singing, you know, I like that stuff, and then, you know, I like Steely Dan, you know, Steely Dan is a, a band that I started to like <coughs> years ago. To hear their album Petzl Logic, and I sort of like them. I, you know, I like the kind of jazz, rock fusion. You know, I'm not really a big fan of jazz, but I like when you mix it with rock. Cause, you know, because rock kind of gives it more of a, you know, uh, a structure. So um, I like that, and um, I like Steely Dan. Yes, I like Jethro Tull, and um, the Doors. Especially that the doors kind of have that poetic, very poetic lyrics mixed with that kind of really kind of cool rock sound. I mean, they really have a good sound, you know, on their albums. Uh, kind of a unique 
thing for them. Kind of a unique door sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they kind of every guitar with that keyboard and that kind of thumb. Mm-hmm. like that. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of and, uh, and and the Clash of Light and the Police and. Uh, Genesis and um, who else? Uh, it's eighties music. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of eighties music, but that much. Yeah, so yeah. 